Two of the most important things about Alexander Hamilton were where he came from and where in America he came to. He was not born here. He was born in the Sugar Islands of the West Indies. And these were the hub of sugar production for the world. Sugar in the 18th century was like oil. It was a hugely lucrative crop. So as a young man, Hamilton was at the center of an international traffic. His first job was as a clerk in a merchant house in the Virgin Islands. So he got to see from the bottom up how trading and commerce were done. He also got to see the worst face of New World slavery. The mortality rate of slaves on sugar plantations in the West Indies was frightful. The average lifespan of a field hand was seven years before he was worked to death. So these were very important shaping experiences for him. When he came to North America, the place he came to was New York. And this was equally important because unlike Philadelphia or Boston, which were holy experiments, New York had always been about getting and spending. That's the reason the Dutch founded New Amsterdam and that spirit continued in the city in the late 18th century when Alexander Hamilton showed up there. So he was coming to the place in America which was dedicated uh, to commerce and to commercial activity. He'd had that in his background and he was coming to a place uh, where it could be fostered and encouraged.